Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 52. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 6, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet I7 for Incentive Pay Example 7. Now, back in Incentive Pay Example number 6, we did commission, right? So, if the employee had a number of sales, a commission rate, we calculated the commission and then added that to fixed salary to get gross. In this example, however, each employee had a set rate, right? So 2% for Ryan, no matter how much or how, how much sales he had, it was always going to be 2%. In this example, uh, set on the sheet I7, we have variable commission rates. And the commission rate goes up the more you sell. So if commissions, if you are paid by commission, and you are paid a commission rate of 5.75 for sales up to 8,000, a commission rate of 6.75 for sales between 8,000 and a penny and 13,500, and a commission rate of 9% when the sales are 13,500 one penny or more, we gotta calculate our gross pay. Our sales for this example are gonna be 19,575. Just as uh, back in incentive example, number three. In this example, we were given a certain number of items that we made and the amount per item we made. We made a little table like this and then we had a multi-step calculation. The same multi-step calculation is going to apply for variable commission rates. So the trick is we read the problem and make our table. What is the category? The category, well, it looks like it's going to be 0 to 8,000. And then 8,000 and one penny to, what is it, 13,500. And then the next category, of course, will be 13,501, so 13,000. Uh, or more. And then we need the rates, but just like back in video 48 where we did example number three, we're going to need the upper and the lower numbers for each category. So I'm going to put upper, I mean, sorry, we're going to start with lower, upper, and then we'll give our, we'll have our commission rate. Control B. All right, so the lower is going to be zero, and then the upper will be 8,000. Our commission rate is 5.75. I'm going to format as I type. 5.75 percentage symbol. That assures that the number 0 0.075 goes into the cell. Then we have 8 and 1 penny. The upper is 13,500. And then finally, we have 13,500 and one penny. Now this one, right here, I don't know what the upper limit is, right? It's anything above. Now I'm going to format all of this as currency. Either use your drop down up here or Control Shift 4. Maybe highlight this table here. And then I, I need to finish the uh, rates here, so we had 6.75, so 6.75, and 9%, 9.00%. Now, just like back in video 48, when we make our calculation, it's going to be useful to know the upper, the lower, the upper limits for our category and the commission rate, but we really also need to know how much is in each category. How much is in this one? Well, it's 8,000. I'm actually going to put um, amount in. And so this one, we know how much is in this category, right? 8,000. Why do we need to know how much in each category? Because certainly, if we have 19,575, right, it's going to be useful to know, oh yeah, for this category is way above it, so we just take the 8,000 times that and calculate the commission that he would have earned for completing this category. Now what about the next category? 
Well, we can't just take the difference between this and this, because that'll be one penny off. So I'm simply going to say, just as we did back in video uh, 48, oh, the upper limit of this category minus the upper limit from the earlier category. 5,500, that's exactly how much is in this category. And then again, for this one, we don't know. And I'm going to add some color there just to say those are formulas. All right, now let's put uh, our sales. So sales made, tab in, and it's 19,575. Control Shift 4 for currency. All right, now we're, we have multiple steps. And the first step, I'm just going to put calculation step 1. Well, what is it? Oh, uh, let's move this. I'm going to use my move cursor. I actually want this in cell uh, A11. Here's going to be a number, or no, or a sales in sales in category, because we need to know for our calculation how uh, what what are the sales and the commission rate. So I'm going to need the commission rate too. Maybe do something uh, like that. Now what? For this first category, this first calculation, what are the sales? Well, we can see clearly comparing this to the amount in this category, we're way above. So we're, we're going to need this whole 8,000 tab. We're also going to need the commission rate tab. And this will be the pay. I'm going to put COMM pay. Oops. All right, so the calculation is going to be however much times the rate equals round. And you can multiply it in any order. Oh, OK, so 460 bucks. Now that's calculation two, but we've only calculated. Remember, we had sales in 19,575. We only calculated the commission on the first 8,000. Now we need to figure out what remains. Oh, OK, so all of our sales minus the amount of sales we've already calculated a commission for, 11,575. All right, next, this is a calculation step two. I'm using autocomplete. I'm just going to change that to a two. Now, this calculation here, actually, I'm going to add some color there. That was an actual calculation. Now, what are we going to do here? Oh, we have to look up here. Compare this to there. Oh, there's still a lot here. So we're going to take this whole amount and put it right here. Equals that. Tap. And get the commission rate. Equals that. Tap. And now we can calculate our pay for this category in any order. But be sure comma 2, that's to the penny. Control Shift 4. So we have a commission for the first two categories. But now we need to do what remains. Here's all the sales before we just calculated the commissions on those. So I'm going to subtract this, and that'll give us the remaining amount. All right, so 6,075 bucks is going to get multiplied by a 9%. All right, this is calculation. 3, and notice when I hit C, it doesn't auto-complete because these are different things. So I'm simply going to Control C, Control V, and change that to a 3 equals that. I'm going to format that. That was that subtraction with the remains category. All right, so we have 675, and I think we're going to need our commission rate, ah, 9%. And finally, we get our round. You know, we've done this. We did this in the last couple of videos. You can notice that these are relative cell references, right? Always multiplying 2 to my left. So you can just copy and paste. All right, now let's add a little bit of this. And now we can calculate our total gross. And I'm simply going to add using 
the plus symbol. I use the sum function if the sales are all right next to each other, but they're not. The cells are not next to each other, so I'll simply do that. And there is our total commission. Now, in our last example, we had commission plus a flat rate here. We just get paid flat commissions. Those are our total gross. Now, let's go ahead and look at another example. I'll scroll down here. And you notice it's got the same exact setup, meaning table. We just have a different amount. And that makes sense, right? If you have employees, you're going off the same type of table. And we're simply going to plug in a different amount. I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire table. Control C. We saw the same trick back in video 48. Paste it right here. And then I can simply change this to 25000. We have the 25,000 there. We come down here, and that is our correct number. Now, what if we had a slightly different situation? I'm going to highlight the entire thing, including the instructions there. Copy. Paste it right. A44, Control V, and I'm going to change this to 12,000. We saw back in video number 48 that we could still use our template even though it was for a much smaller number. So I'm going to come here. Right, that's totally wrong down at the bottom. So what we do is you look at 8,000. OK, that's, that's OK because I'm comparing it there. But this, this is um, the remaining amount. When I look up here, oh, I haven't made it all the way through this category. So this bottom stuff here is not correct. So what we did was we highlighted the bottom part and we cleared it. We, if we use the delete key, it just deletes the, the content, not the formatting. So we went up to Home, the Eraser button, and there it is, Clear All. Now I need to look. OK, so 4,000. I haven't made it all the way through here. So it's just this last cell here. Calculation step two needs to be 4,000. All right, so we once we build a little template like this, it's pretty easy to uh, adjust it and get our total gross for whichever situation. Oops. And then the total gross is simply adding these two. So for this employee at 12,000, the commissions would be 730. All right. Um, how did I get so lost? There, that was seven. We have one more incentive example next video, and then we move on to uh, sections 6.3 and 4 for deductions. All right, see you next video.